Hello, it's Jay here and welcome to the first lesson in what will be a survival horror tutorial using Unity 3D. Now, as you can see from your screen, I've created a new project and I've just imported the standard assets for now. Now, this first lesson, we're just going to work on setting up our project. So the first thing we'll do is we'll come here to assets we'll right click create a new folder and we'll name this one scenes and we'll right click we'll create another folder and we'll call this one scripts now we have those two folders in place let's create two scenes so we'll come to file we'll hit new scene and then save scene as and we'll come into our new scenes folder and we'll call this one main menu and we'll save it off there and we'll come to file again new scene and save scene as and we'll call this one main level and again I'll just make sure I'm in my scenes folder and we'll save there so we'll come into that folder now and here you can see our two scenes we've just created. Now the main menu is pretty self-explanatory. The main level is because I'm only going to have one level in the game. It's going to be one big open world. And now we have those two scenes in place. We'll come to file and we'll come to build settings. And what we'll do is we'll just drag and drop those scenes on. Now please note the main menu needs to be at the top it's going to have a numeric value of 0 and the main level is going to be next with a numeric value of 1. Now if they get mixed up you can just drag them down until they're in this order and we can just close this for now and this will become more apparent later and now we have our project set up we can start creating our first script so the first script we're going to create is to create a title screen with a background and a couple of buttons one to start the game and one to quit so we'll right click create a new C sharp script and again we can just call this main menu and we'll double click to open up for editing now we already have our void start and void update in place but we can delete all this block the void update we won't be using it in this script and I'm going to come to the very top here and the first thing I'm going to create is public and it's going to be of type texture 2D and I'm going to put a little underscore and we'll say title and then background with a capital and we'll close the line off there and we'll put in comments so two forward slashes and we'll just say creates slot in inspector to assign our title background and we'll save this off and we'll just downsize mono develop we won't close the script and we'll click on our main camera again make sure you in your main menu scene up here at the top left main camera and we'll just add that script and as you can see we can now add a title background now I've already gone ahead and created this here I've quickly done it in paint obviously you can spend as much time and make this title screen as nice as you want but I've just done this very quickly in paint just for demonstration purposes now 
I'll just downsize for now and we'll come to assets again and we'll create a new folder and we'll just call this artwork and what we'll do is if we come here we'll right click cut and I'll come into my project assets and the new folder I've just created for the artwork and I'll paste that in there I can just close that off and as you can see Unity's now imported this picture so I'll click on main camera and we'll just assign that in the slot here now it won't display because we have to tell the script to do that so I'm going to come here below the void start and I'm going to say void on GUI will open and close brackets will open and will close again now pay attention to the capitalization here capital O capital GUI but a lowercase n and we'll come into this function and what we'll say is GUI dot and we want to draw the texture once we've done that we'll open brackets and we'll say a new rect we'll open brackets again and we'll say 0 comma 0 now this is the point where it starts to draw the actual background and 0 and 0 is basically starting it in the corner and we'll comma again and now we want to tell it how big to actually draw the title background itself and we want it by the screen dot width comma by the screen dot height we'll close brackets we'll put another comma and then we'll tell it what to draw which is the underscore title background and we can actually close brackets and we'll close the line off and we'll just put this into comments that we draw the background texture and we'll save this off so let's go through this again it's a G type GUI we're drawing we're drawing a texture this texture here we create a new rect we're saying the screen width and height here and this is the position of which we start drawing so we start at zero zero and we draw by the screen width by the height and we draw in the title background so we'll downsize mono develop for now and if we hit play and it may just take a moment there we go I'll just close that for a moment and there's our title background displayed I'll just stop that scene there and in our next lesson we'll work on creating two buttons to start the game to quit the game and eventually we'll add background music and sound effects so I hope you enjoyed this video and I will see you next time bye for now